Today on the Mayan calendar, the Cholki or the Tzolkin, the sacred calendar of the Maya, it is Oshlahu Tzi. The glyph of the day is Tzi, and the tone of the day or the number of the day is Oshlahu 13. And 13 in the Mayan teachings represents transformation. I'll show you another uh, example of, of how that energy works for us as we study this, these teachings. C is the law, authority, justice, the spiritual laws that cannot be bought or sold. In other words, it's true law that can't be changed by us or humans, I should say. These are spiritual laws that are universal laws that run throughout all of the galactic it's also uh, this energy that we refer to at C is the rock of the sun or the obsidian uh, fire obsidian order and emotional life the sacred white wolf is the nawal or our dogs our dogs are also but brothers and sisters of the sacred wolf and the element uh, of the earth is air at this time on this day. These ancient teachers uh, that were putting all this information together for us tried to do it in such a way that we would remember uh, these, these teachings as we would go through our lives. And one of the ways that we did that was we would have these sacred fire ceremonies that we um, would attend and they look like this. When we uh, create a ceremony, we circle, uh, we create a, a great big round circle that represents our cosmos, our universe, super universe, if you will. And then we add the red, the black, the yellow and the white candles uh, with some pine wood we call okote to begin the fire. And as you can see, it starts to look like something pretty interesting in that we have the four colors, the red, white, yellow, and black that represent the four colors of human beings on the planet. And it also represents all of the green trees and plants uh, that are uh, placed down on the ground first. And this ceremony allows us to um, get into the real essence of, of who we are uh, in connection to our earth, because this is an offering that we make to the earth. It's a very powerful um, force to have a fire that you can actually sit next to that is burning with a sacred meaning, with a sacred intent. And I guess that's the point I want to get to. We're in a time now when the fire within us needs to be sacred that we have to make it sacred, that we have to choose truth. In everything that comes at us, we have to choose the truth. And how we know the truth is by, by trusting our hearts. The elders that I studied with uh, say that we have an example of this energy that we are uh, recognizing today, this, the dog energy or the sacred wolf energy. We have one within us. And then when we meet someone or we, we feel an energy of a situation that we're going to be getting into, your little dog within you uh, will bark and will start to give you information. Recognizing that you have every tool you need within you to know what is okay to get involved in and who to be involved with, 
you know it, you just have to start trusting that little puppy dog inside of you, that little sacred wolf, let's say, that's within you. And I think that's a, an important lesson that the elders pass down through generations. When I talk about the ceremony itself, the fire ceremony, when you place it on the earth and you add your, your own candles and your own incense and your chocolate and your, uh, and you notice there were some limes and some eggs around in that circle. And those eggs are rubbed all around the body, all absorbing all of the uh, energies that people want to give, give to the egg or give to the lime from their bodies, the lime will take it or the egg will take it because they're permeable. And the energy that human beings are putting out is electromagnetic energy that our bodies put out. And it's absorbed into the egg or to the lime. And then we make that offering to the fire. And as, we, as the fire burns, it absorbs all of those negative energies that you want to let go of. Today, the message is 13 is Oshlahu, it's transformation. And it connects to the top of our crown right here, this 13 number. Why the crown? Because that's the energy that we use to connect uh, to the cosmos. And it connects our, through our spinal column and down through our bones and to our toes, down into the earth. So that we have a connection between the earth and the, and the center of our cosmos, the central sun, let's say, that connects through us, our connection to all things and connection to all, to all beings. And that is what we're really wanting to help us uh, in these groups, help us all learn how to do again, is to reconnect back to our field, to the field that connects all of us. It belongs to us. We're part of it. And how we teach you through uh, these groups is by actually asking you to go within, actually proposing that it's possible by going within, you can make a direct connection uh, to your source creator, first father and first mother. Through these groups, through the messages that M has brought through, many of them I've listened to over and over. Uh, it's a, an important constant message for us to recognize first that we have everything we need within our own bodies, within our own um, physical uh, creation that we've made on planet Earth here. It's all within us. Everything we need in order to do this is already here. All we have to do is remember and heal, remember, and heal, remember, and heal. In these groups, we will guide you back to who you are. We don't want to guide you anywhere else. Uh, we want to guide you back to your heart. This is the doorway. This is the portal right there within us. And initially, it may be a little bit more powerful than you're ready for. So we do this with a little at a time to try to guide you in through the breathing process, through the relaxation process, to know that you're here and you are choosing love. So that's the essence of what we're doing, all of us in this group. And all of us on the planet who really want to uh, be balanced and walk with our heads high, but also Tell the truth, choose love. So with that in mind, uh, let's do 13 breaths uh, before we go any further from this uh, little brief discussion here about the energy of the day. You are emerging from this now. And the markers for this are in each other. Honor this with each other. Everything is changing now. You have your skills. You have your awareness that you have been preparing. And now is the time. Understand that this is a group effort, not only with human beings, but many, many 
other dimensional beings, whether they are residing in earth or residing in other points of reference throughout the cosmos. But all connect through Mother Earth. Mother Earth is the conduit. Things will begin to move very, very rapidly now. First and foremost, do not rely on outer appearances. This is why it is so very important for you to broadcast love for you to be listening and engaging in the ways that we have given you over time and any other practice that you are drawn to that supports you in going within to make this direct connection. This will be where you get your data. This is how you will know what you need to know in any given moment. So continue with the practices that support you in being present. And indeed, you have been waiting and waiting and waiting for something that you could not articulate. It is because more of you needed to be unlocked to meet this, to understand what is occurring. Vibrationally, not how it is being translated by the voices of the old construct. Understand that you must be able to discern now, especially in the area of non-human beings showing up on the scene. You must discern what is from love and what is not. What is illusion and trickery and what is not. That which is real broadcasts love. You may feel confusion because those around you are feeling confused and afraid. You are here to solidly stand in this light and anchor it with the earth. Even if you get confused, you can always come back to this truth. And to know that this, in and of itself, is massively helpful in these coming times. The unraveling of the old world and the emergence of that which is more representative of the higher vibrational humanity that is emerging. You have had your own signature vibrations reduced. This was already 
understood and known and part of the equation of you being here. That is why we, and when we say we, let us define this further for you. We are a variety of what you refer to as non-human intelligence and or angelic. You see, we do not have the definitions that you have adapted to in three dimensions. You have translations of who or what we are and what we represent. Some translations are accurate, most are not. We speak through a network. We speak through the field. We are many voices. And we are here for the next phase. It does not matter what we look like. It does not matter what planetary system we are from. This is information at this stage that must be set aside for you must be fully present for what comes next. You may have one person in your community who is perceiving it in a very different way than how you are perceiving it. This is because of the efforts that you have made and continue to make and commit to, to be present so that you may be accurately seeing and translating for those around you, helping people to remain calm, helping people to feel the love at their core, helping people to recall the mother. For in this ongoing transformational event, it is the mother that is re-emerging in your consciousness. This is what makes you whole. This is what restores your balance. Now, we are a collective that represent your teammates in other dimensions. You may refer to this as higher self as well. We are not attached to the word definitions. We work primarily with frequency. We understand that in order to communicate initially, that we need the words. You will receive the knowings. You will receive, continue to receive with the downloads you will have instant inspiration. You will know and you will act at the same time. Now, a few of you here may be having thoughts that perhaps this is for others in the group and not me. It is for all of you. Here is the key. There is no more past. There is no future right now. There is only now. And what you will witness, and what you have been witnessing, is <clears throat> what we have termed as middle management, 
attempting to take the sleeping one's perception. This is why your work is so important to be a demonstrator. You must be strong enough to withstand the judgment and the fear erupting around you. Not all of it will be dark. There will be breakthrough moments where you will see evidence of the divine. It will come through you. It will come through others. We are the ones who interrupted your lives, some of you here who remember. We are the ones who gave you a little shaking up. We are the ones who gave you a shove off of this trajectory that you were so convinced was real and you call this contact, you call this abduction. Even the visual craft in the sky. Some of these and the interactions were an interruption. This is something that some of us present can do. Some humans need the interruption to occur in a visual spectrum. Now, there is other craft in your skies. This is what we can say about this for now. It is why you must be discerning about the reports that you will hear. About this phenomenon, we are simply ambassadors for Source Creator. This is not about us. It is about helping humanity to remember this connection, this direct connection to Source. This is the connection that was severed through the conditioning. You must be clear of this past trauma, that which will resonate with your fear, that which cuts you off from the harmonics of the truth of who you are. You see, this is about music. This is a song. And for great numbers in your populations of humans all over the globe, this song has been severed You do not need to concern yourself about justice for those who profited from your sleeping states. Your service your intent overall was to help, to support, to guide, to comfort, 
to heal those who will need this. There are no exact dates. There are only probabilities. The dialogue that we have been teaching, sharing, is how you stay in touch. This is an activation of your instrument. The releasing of the past, the willingness to heal, to make way for this light, this data that informs you. We have been preparing you for this. For in your terms, many years. Begin to practice opening the conversation and creating your own multi-dimensional conference calls. So that when you need to join a call with others, whether you need the support or whether you are there to provide inspiration and support. When others tune in at this timing, they will more readily receive the data that they need. Trust that you can build these communication systems with the earth. Imagine the ley lines as your telephone or internet lines. Allow yourselves to remember your ancient, new, inner technologies. that are in harmony with the earth, with the moon, with the sun, with the central sun. You chose to be here at this timing. You may not remember us in this moment, but we are all friends. Truth be told, we all grow differently. Some will hold, some we will learn to let go, and somewhere we're inside, we know we'll be landing. Love